so long. How are you? How are you? Okay, here we go. If you're new here, hi, my name is Naima, and this is, I guess, a vlog of senior festivities. And we're gonna get going. We have senior breakfast today and then graduation rehearsal. Just to catch you up to speed, like, there have been activities going on all week for seniors, and I haven't. The only thing I went to was um, the scholarship award ceremony. I went to the beach yesterday. Like, I've been doing stuff, but I, it's just not been like senior activities. Let's do this. Let's go. because it's been a minute it's been a minute so it's now 5 11 and i'm at michael's to get hopefully some fake flowers dropped and got these letters and then a glue stick and a glue gun day didn't really go as planned and we're not gonna get into that but i did get my cap and gown rehearsal was kind of long but it wasn't like bad it was just like it was okay got my yearbook i'm super excited that graduation is so soon we're not sure if it's going to be outside or inside because it might rain and luckily i'm not like in the front or at the end of a row so i all i need to do is just follow people <laughs> and i'll be fine so let's go into michael's I think it's gonna be so pretty. I have a white dress and my mom surprised me with jewelry. And then I'm gonna show you what I got at Michael's. So these flowers, these, pretty soft. This mini glue gun with mini glue. Hopefully that this color works out. I wanna do a Bible verse. And then um, here's some of my inspiration for the cap. And I've been looking on TikTok and like, and Pinterest to see what I should do. Also, guess what? I am officially biliterate. So that's what this is. It is almost six o'clock. My mom got me, I'll show you the earrings she got too, just from the outside. Those earrings, these in silver. So I'm very excited. I hope I don't get this dirty. Um, and now I'm actually gonna do stuff. Uh, tomorrow's gonna go by like this. I'm going to the movies at night. Um, with my family, my boyfriend's family. I have the wash and blowout tomorrow. I just feel like if it's blown out, it'll look like I'll be less stressed about it the day of. Here we go. We are on two phase one of the beauty stuff. So here are the whitening strips I use. I just wanted to show you them because I've used the other Crest whitening strips before. They just like hurt my teeth. These ones do not hurt my teeth. So we're gonna do some whitening strips. Hopefully I get to do them today and tomorrow. I took a shower, I took off the whitening strips. I don't know if you can tell the difference. I don't know if you were looking at my teeth before, but what I like to do is steam my face after I get out of the shower. So that's already like, Hot. It has like a ton of setting and it's just like really great. So, and then I also will use my lamp so that I can see everything. Um, and then I'm also gonna watch Gilmore Girls. And this one's like really hot. I guess it's really hot, so it's like kind of challenging, but I like to keep it on here for like, I try to do like 10 minutes. That kind of hurts. <laughs> um, all right, time for an update very exciting it's 8 57 i did my facial a while ago so now i have some pimple patches on and just trying to i had some watermelon some chips some dinner so good and then now i am decorating the cap so here's the station got gilmore girls on i'm at season four so i went to work i got my hair done um i think it looks good i just I guess I was just like looking forward to getting it done and I felt like she was rushing. I've never gone to this lady before. Okay, I feel a little bit behind schedule, but we'll work with that in a second. First of all, we have a couple updates like this. Yeah, so those flowers arrived. That was really nice. My dad and my stepmom. 
That's so cute. Actually, I should probably call him. So let me, I'll just be right back. They're so pretty. They came in water already. So that was so nice. And then after my haircut, I went to J. Crew Factory Outlet. If you have a J. Crew Factory Outlet near you, you need to go. You need to run and go. So I got two of these hair clips because I like putting my hair up half up. And then I got um, my dad <laughs> a bunch of socks just in preparation for Father's Day. I got him four. Um, and just like funny ones and each of them came out to like six dollars and they're from j crew what a steal and now on to the amazon package <laughs> first of all <laughs> i got this book what is a hostess to do because i oh this is so cute i just wanted like a really practical book about being a hostess and like obviously one day I want to have my own home and then another book I got is better small talk <laughs> because recently I found myself more introverted and like I don't know what happened but I feel like I lost some social skills where like I can't do small talk as well anymore I don't know I don't know this is the curl cream I use so I got these I have been wanting some lemon pants. I don't know, I, I think I regret the color. Maybe not, maybe not. Cause I love, oh it's red. No, I don't want red. Oh, I don't know about this guys. I wanted to get some like linen pants easy for the summer um, because I've been wearing skirts a lot but Sometimes skirts are just kind of a hassle, so I'll try these on. I have very high hopes for this. This shirt, and then with these shorts. And I get that it kind of looks like a pajama set, but it'll be cute. So I think, I think this is what I'm going, this is the verse I'm doing for From Him and To Him are all things to Him be glory. There also is supposed to be the word forever, but I don't think I'm going to have space if I choose to do like flowers i can't really tell the, with these that's cute right i'm talking about like oh i'm going i need to go to cvs or oh i need to go i'm gonna go get a haircut or um oh I'm, i just need to go get a coffee you know like this is the outfit for that right or does it look like pajamas <sighs> um it, I actually thought it wasn't gonna it was gonna be too short. I don't like how wide it is. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. So we will be returning, but it was a good try. It was a good try. I decided I'm gonna shower and like get dressed for the movies and then work on my graduation cap and then leave clean up for like the end. I am in my coziest clothes and I'm ready to get some stuff done. Glue guns bring back really happy memories for me from elementary school, arts and crafts, after school program. I'm happy to now like have a glue gun. This summer I really want to be crafty. I want to learn how to crochet and that's something I want to expand on in college just because I think it's so good to have fun hobbies and like hobbies that you can cultivate that like will ultimately also glorify god i remember the teacher who taught the arts and craft like after school program she literally always smelled like cock glue she was so sweet she was one of like the oldest ladies in the building um but like such a good teacher so anyways so i'm just gonna tape maybe the ends wait do i need to if it's like this I probably angle the letters. Oh, what way do I do it? Like that. My biggest thing, I feel like right now, as I'm like reflecting on graduation and like having trouble grasping that it's actually happening, I feel like the biggest thing is like, obviously yes, God is good, but my biggest thing is like, God is so faithful. And like high school was so hard for me. Like, spiritually, socially, like if I lived somewhere where like going to church was like the usual thing 
high school would have been different, I think, for me, but it, like, for me at least, and, like, maybe part of this was, like, my fault because I didn't join sports because I just, like, had no interest in that. I didn't go to a ton of clubs, but, like, I just felt so out of place at my school that I didn't want to involve myself in anything. There was, it wasn't, it never felt like there was a place for me in the school where like, oh, I feel like I belong here. I don't wanna sound like I hated my high school because it had so many amazing teachers. I met amazing people, I learned a lot. But overall, going to school every day was draining. Like draining on my faith, draining to my soul. Like not like draining like, oh, I had a hard day or like this test was hard, like, no, it was a really like testing experience of my faith, which I am grateful for. I need to expect to face trials and that's actually a blessing and that actually means that God is testing like your faithfulness and your obedience um, and with like the testing of faith comes endurance and with endurance comes character and um, it produces steadfastness and just it, it increases your faith, which is a great thing. So I'm not like upset that I faced trials or, but I'm just telling you like I was so drained and I felt so isolated that I almost just started homeschooling because it was so difficult for me. Um, and I don't know. I think what I went through in high school is not like so, it's not like just my story. Like I know a lot of people might feel like this even if they're not like a believer of Jesus <laughs> like it's I'm not like special in that way but I'm just kind of sharing with you that like I am just so so happy to be done <laughs> and I guess a word of encouragement like if you're still in high school or if you share a similar story to me like just dig into God like just really cling to his word like I feel like that's the only way I could have done it is to cling to his word I don't think I've mentioned that on this channel, but I'm going to Liberty University. I've known that for quite some time. Um, I've known it for so long because I knew I wanted to go to like a Christian school. I don't want to fight anymore in school. Like, obviously there will be spiritual battles, there will be things, and I want to learn, I want God to take me through these things so that he gets the glory, and I want him to prune me, and I want to, like, produce fruit. But I don't want to be, like, sitting in a class and hearing lies stated as the truth i just it's it's really draining to hear that all day so with that little rant in mind that's some of my reflections yeah now let's figure out what to do for my graduation cap stay tuned okay i'm running late so it's okay went to church this morning it's 12 15 i need to be at the school by 12 45 my makeup's not done i'm not dressed i haven't eaten <laughs> feel very stressed um i'm just gonna put music on <laughs> to be leaving in five minutes five five minutes graduation doesn't start until two i know i don't need to like stress out but all right i'll update you soon hold on all right guys tassels right to left you officially graduate So it is a couple weeks after my graduation. I'm just editing the video, I'm hoping to post soon, and I want to give you the rundown of graduation day. And I wish I did vlog more, but I was just kind of stressed, and 
really like rushing so basically um starting off with my cap and i ended up doing my cap backwards like i thought that the writing was supposed to read like this way it's supposed to be like when you turn your head back like people can read it so mine was upside down but that's okay graduation day was good i arrived late but it was fine because we weren't actually gonna start walking there until like 10 minutes before the ceremony so it was nice to see everyone the only thing is that like the weather was really bad it was drizzling as we came out and it was super windy and it was like 50 degrees i think like it was kind of chilly we did it outside by the end of it my feet were numb and i literally like going up to <laughs> like get my diploma my tassel it literally fell off while i was sitting because it was so windy and like we were all holding our our caps down um, so like it what definitely wasn't the most pleasant day, but I'm so so grateful to be done with high school and I am now in college mode. What do I need for college? Figuring out roommate situation um, Just working this summer. So super super excited for the summer and to try to be more active on here throughout the summer and hopefully throughout freshman year of college. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye